Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to AT&T Stadium here in Arlington, Texas, as Premier Boxing Champions presents the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Man Down Promotions, TGB Promotions, and Showtime. Sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook, download the app, use promo code GLOVES, and make it rain. O'Reilly Auto Parts, better parts, better prices every day. And there's no time to lose. Memory from the director of Casino Royale and starring Liam Neeson only in theaters, April 29th. This unification bout is sanctioned by the WBC, the President Mauricio Suleiman, Supervisor Rex Ross Walker, the WBA, President Gilberto Jesus Mendoza, Supervisor Jose Oliver Gomez, and the IBF, President Daryl Peoples, Supervisor Pete Podgorski, along with the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulations Combat of Sports Program. The chairman is Rick Figueroa, Executive Director Mike Aris Mendez. Introducing our third man in the ring, our referee in charge, Lawrence Cole. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the Unified Welterweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, Live from AT&T Stadium, home of the Dallas Cowboys, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing to you first, the WBA World Champion fighting out of the red corner. Entering the ring wearing white trunks with red trim, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Santiago de Cuba in Cuba. He weighed in at 146 and three quarter pounds with a record of 27 wins, four losses. He has 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight in his fourth world title appearance and making the second defense of his title, ladies and gentlemen, here is the current defending WBA welterweight champion of the world, introducing 54 milagros, your name And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, the WBC and IBF world champion wearing black trunks with green and pink trim and proudly representing Dallas, Texas. He weighed in at 146 and one quarter pounds. His sensational record includes 27 wins, no losses, 21 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome one of the stars of boxing today, Tonight in his seventh consecutive world title appearance, ladies and gentlemen, here's the popular and acclaimed, reigning and defending, undefeated IBF and WBC welterweight champion of the world, introducing the truth, Errol Spence Jr. Once again, a referee in charge, Lawrence Cole. Jim, I went over things early in the dressing room. I want your time to respect myself at all times. Play Olympic y bueno suerte. Good luck. Touch him up. Spence fighting his fourth consecutive championship level fighter in his sixth in his last seven fights. He doesn't want tune ups, he wants to fight the best. And Ugas, he's facing his second consecutive southpaw opponent after upsetting Manny Pacquiao. He's six and one against lefties with three knockouts. The bell and round one of the 12th welterweight unification fight in history for Errol Spence. He's involved in his second. And should he win tonight, he will join Donald Curry and Floyd Mayweather in winning two unification fights and will join just Mayweather in defeating two reigning titleists to do it. And Donald Curry, of course, from uh, Texas. And then now a Hall of Famer. They're exchanging jabs to the body. Spence's numbers are really good. 
21 punches per round, uh, landed first among welterweights, throws 67 punches per round, second among welterweights, and lands 46% of his power punches, third among welterweights. So he, his numbers are very good. And both of them, Abner, love to rock yeah. the body. Their body work is exceptional. Yeah, when they asked Ugas what was his game style coming into his fight, is he going to box a counterpuncher? He said, I'm going to stand in front of Spence. I'm going to look for the fight. And right now we're seeing a little bit of a thinking, of thinking round. Both of them choosing their punches. It's a study round, really. And Ugas doing a good job of blocking, parrying the, the jab of Spence. There's a triple quadruple. Pumping the jab was the truth. And of course, Ugas known for that high guard, which could create some opportunities to go to the body for Spence. Instead, it's Ugas going to the body with a right hand. They actually both land almost the same amount to the body, uh, 6.3 for Spence and 6 for Ugas. So both men are good body punchers. That was a nice left hand right there by Spencer early on. And both of them are st establishing that jab really well. At moment, Spence obviously... Oh, good counter left to the body by Ugas after Spence missed with the left. Finish your thought. And that's, that's something that Ugas is really good at. He's really well at counter punching. And we, we, we saw that right there with that body shot. Hard to do, actually, to, to counterpunch a jab and throw a body shot. Really hard to do. The last time Spence lost was in the 2012 Olympics. Ugas won a bronze medal at the 2008 Olympics and launches that right hand to the head of Spence. He is moments away, he feels, from stopping Ugas. And for Ugas, 